Hi everyone, in this video we're going to solve this radical equation. So this is a square root, often called a radical, and this equation just has one of them. So to do this problem, what we have to do is isolate the radical, right? We want to get the square root on one side by itself. So we'll start by subtracting 3 from both sides. So minus 3, minus 3. So we end up with the square root of x plus 3 equals x minus 3. So step one, you want to isolate the square root. Once you've done that, to get rid of the square root, all you have to do is square both sides. So we're going to square this side, and we'll square this side. Squaring this will give us x plus 3, right? The square root goes away. There's a formula for this, or you can write it twice and distribute. I'll go ahead and write it twice. Whenever there's a 2, you can just write it twice. And then we'll go ahead and multiply this out. So I'm going to write this again, x plus 3. This is equal to, let's see, so x times x is x squared. So we do that one times that one. Then this times this will be minus 3x. And then this times this is minus 3x. And this times this is 9. It's actually FOIL, but I don't think about FOIL. I just take this, multiply it by these, take this, multiply it by these. But it's the same thing as FOIL. Combine like terms, we have x plus 3 equals x squared. Negative 3x minus 3x is negative 6x. And then we have the plus 9 here, so plus 9. This is the quadratic equation, so ideally we want to set it uh, equal to 0. So maybe we'll start by subtracting x and subtracting 3. So minus x, minus x, I'm going to line them up so it's a little more clear. Minus 3, minus 3. This will be x squared minus 7x, negative 6x minus x is 7x. 9 minus 3 is going to be positive 6, and this is equal to 0. This should factor, I believe. Let's see, it should be x, x. Uh, we need two numbers that multiply to 6 and add to negative 7. I'm thinking uh, negative 1 and negative 6 will work. Yep, that'll work, right? Because negative 1 times negative 6 is 6. Negative x and a negative 6x is negative 7x. You have a product equal to 0, so you set each factor equal to 0. Really nice problem. And so we get two possible answers, right? We get 1 and we get 6. Now I say possible because whenever you have a square root in an equation, you should always check your answers, right? So these might not both be the answers. They might both be the answer. Maybe one of them is the answer. Or maybe none of them is the answer, right? So we're supposed to check. So let's go ahead and check. So I'm going to go ahead and write the equation down again over here so you see it. x plus 3 plus 3 equals x. Let's check 1. Let's check 1. So if we check 1, we take the 1 and we put it where the x is. So we get 1 plus 3 plus 3 equals 1. So that's going to be square root of 4 plus 3 equals 1. So 2 plus 3 equals 1. So 5 equals 1. Game over. <laughs> it does not work, right? Let me just check that again. So, so we, we, we wrote this down again. We plugged in the 1. So 1 plus 3 is 4. Okay, we're good. Oh, and it's equal to 1, right? Because x is 1. 2 plus 3. Yeah, it doesn't work. Fail. Um, let's check 6. I really hope 6 works. I'll do it up here. So 6 plus 3. 6 plus 3. Plus 3 should be equal to 6, right? Because x is 6, so 6 plus 3 plus 3 equals 6. 6 plus 3 plus 3 equals 6. 6 plus 3 plus 3 equals 6. Yep, looks good. Square root of 9 is 3 plus 3 equals 6. Hoorah! 6 is the answer. So always check your work. Of course, you could just guess and try to get lucky, but that's nah, better, to, better to check. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there who is working on some mathematics. Take care.